So we could say the backbone of Zentai is to embrace this full sense of, of unity. My journey has been that when we move into a healing art or all healing arts, is that we need to move away from this small, separate, fragmented self into this vast, immense, magnificent sense of being that's only captured through the sense of unity and oneness. This really is healing at its essence. So my journey's been through Chinese medicine and shiatsu and Thai massage and osteopathy and various forms of yoga. And we can see them still be impregnated into Zen Thai, but really at its core is coming back to this simple practice of unity and inclusiveness. So for me, the practice of Zen Thai is the practice of simplicity, the practice of loving kindness, the practice of simple, full, embodied, single-minded touch, the hand being an extension from your heart. It is also a great reminder of the power of community, of when people come together, of how much expansion and growth that that offers for you as an individual, when you get seen, when you get supported, when you're in a safe space, where we can actually move and share and open through listening to each other with, without reservation, of feeling the great joy of really being held and supported no matter where you are in this life. So I feel that if we really want to move and grow and expand, it's important that we have around us a team, a community that supports our beliefs, that supports our heartfulness, that really hears us wherever we are on this journey. So my experience with this centre and the centre in Bali is to see this wonderful flaring that happens when people come to a community which takes heartfulness and consciousness and spirit and simplicity as the higher values. The practice is also around movement, so this is movement-based therapy. The movement is based around the movement of the spiraling fascia, which as we know is the movement of meridians, energy lines of Chinese medicine. So then we see this template of, of Chinese medicines, five elements, come into the practice of Zen Tai. The earth element, am I being nourished? Am I practicing stillness? Am I simply connecting to the earth? The metal element, am I letting go of all this grasping, this contracting, all these things that I'm holding on to? Is my life a ritual? Can my life be a sacred practice? The water element is my body flowing and fluidly moving without resistance. Is the practice of yin and yang being embodied in all aspects of my life? Am I receiving? Am I opening and asserting things that are valuable for me? The wood element how am I embracing community in my life? I'm allowing people to support me. Am I supporting the community through my own gifts that I've come to share in this lifetime? The fire element, a meditative dance. Is the dance creative? Is the dance imaginative? Is the dance intuitive? Is the dance present-minded? is the dance coming from a place of heart openness. This dance is our life force moving through us. So if we look at this practice as being a joyful dance, we embody all the aspects of Zen Tai, the creativity, divine force moving through you, the playfulness, the movement, the connection, all the aspects that keep us protected in this pandemic of self-inadequacy actually dissolve when we can dance and move with this free-spirited openness. So for me, it's a great offering for each other, for another person, but also a great offering for yourself to connect back to who you really are at your true essence.